What is going on, dreamers? We are live with some random Dreamcast games. Uh, today we're going to start off with some Real Fishing Wild, which is a very relaxing fishing game that has uh, FMV video, which is uh, not a very common thing for uh, the Dreamcast, or even this generation of consoles specifically. Uh, but I haven't played this game in a very long time, but it is... A little bit hardcore compared to something like Sega Bass Fishing, it is not an arcade fishing game. Uh, it is more of a simulator, uh, in the fact that it's very hard to catch fish. <laughs> oh, I guess it's a simulator in if, if you're a, a bad fisherman, I suppose. Um, but, uh, we're gonna get right into this and do some fishing, and then we'll move on to another game later on. Hello to everyone in the chats, John and Aaron, welcome. Uh, I actually don't own any of those games, John, except for Wild Metal, which I already played in the last random game livestream, if I remember correctly. So I'm not gonna do it again in this one. Uh, but, uh, if you have any other requests, John, feel free. Uh, I'm gonna do a new game. I don't know if I have a save file for this. It's been years since I actually played this. I may have a save file on one of my VMUs, but I'm just gonna start a new game. Everything about this game is just laid back, relaxing. <laughs> the music. If you if you don't like this game, you'll probably just fall asleep. I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you got your uh, your fishing notebook. You write down all the fish you've caught. I believe the game has goals of of sorts, uh, where you you, you want to catch certain fish. So currently, I have only one spot. Unlock to fish in, which is Japan stream. Japanese mountain stream with everything from native to transplanted fish. Even a beginner can enjoy the thrill of a catch using lures ranging from minnow plug to, s to a spoon. <laughs> it's not, not an actual uh, spoon that you eat off of, by the way. So, uh, yeah, we're supposed to catch a... Yamami, I guess? A rainbow trout and an Iwana. Iwana what? <laughs> uh, alright, let's, let's go to the spot. See if I can catch anything at all. I remember last time I played this, I, I just could not catch anything. Maybe I caught one fish? I don't know. Look how realistic this game is. Look at the realism here. It's like you're there. All right, let's, uh, let's cast this out. I'm not using the fishing rod. Uh, you can use the fishing rod with this, uh, with this game, I believe. But I'm not actually using it. Oh, come on. Come on, you know you want this. Come grab it. Ooh, ooh big one. I'd rather have the big one, but... I don't know what kind of fish this is. Hopefully it's one of my goldfish. Yeah, th this is a 128-bit FMV right here, John. It's a step above the, uh, the Sega CD and the Saturn. Well, I guess two, two steps above the Sega CD and one step above the Saturn. <laughs> Some top-notch modern FMV right here. It it's interesting the way the game kind of combines FMV and actual, uh... Um... Actual... Graphics? Is that the word I'm looking for? I mean, FMV is pre-rendered graphics, uh... This is non-pre-rendered graphics under the water. Not having much luck so far. I like how the music stops when you go underwater. It's very... Uh, this game is all for that realism. I mean, you can't hear that music underwater. Like, I got my radio next to me on, on top of the water. Can't hear it underneath. Developers of this game did all of the research. It's interesting if you don't, uh, well at least initially, it doesn't go underwater. So you can stay on top of the water for a little bit, listen to that relaxing music. I don't know if there's a trick here, it's like... The fish get up to the lure, and then they just kind of leave. I'm gonna try different things. Let me just go slow. I'll try and stay, obviously, above the ground. 
Oh, there we go. There, there's unfortunately no meters or anything like, uh, like with Sega Bass Fishing telling you when you're pulling too hard or... Ooh, I actually caught one. It's a Yamami. Okay. Sweet. So maybe that's what I was doing wrong, because normally in Sega Bass Fishing, I'll reel a little bit, stop for a second, then reel again, kind of, you know, jerking the, uh, the lure, which works in real life, in real fishing as well. You kind of want to vary your speed a little bit, but maybe more... Maybe you want to be more consistent and just hold down the, the right trigger. There we go. Yeah, see, this, this is actually working. I assume if I pull too hard, I can lose the fish, but... Man, two in a row. I mean, I don't want another Yamami, because I need the two other ones. Can I check my, uh... I don't know if I can check my goal list while I'm fishing. I don't think I can. There are literally two buttons. There's the A button to cast and the right trigger to reel. I'm not using the rod, John. Mainly because I have a very small area, which includes my my uh, microphone here, so if I was using the fishing rod, I, I may accidentally hit the microphone, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> At some point, I may get a, a microphone that I can um, clip onto my shirt instead of using the, the fixed microphone. A wireless one would be nice. I'm content with this one for now, though. I want that guy. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I want it. Come on. Come get come get it. Come get the spoon. <laughs> yes! Okay, I think I figured this game out. I don't know why I couldn't figure this out the first time I played this game. But yeah, you need to consistently reel it in, because if you stop, the fish will just swim away. Ooh, I wanna. It's, a, it's an I wanna fish. <laughs> Hello, Neil. Welcome to the stream. Is it possible to bring the Dream Eye camera back to life? What's wrong with it? It, it works perfectly fine, as far as I know. <laughs> At least mine does. Maybe you have a broken camera. I don't know. Uh, you need a Bluetooth microphone? I don't like Bluetooth, to be honest. <laughs> I, I have a Bluetooth keypad that I use for this stream, and it's annoying when it sometimes just doesn't work, doesn't connect. I don't want to have the same issue with my microphone. Sometimes I give up on the keypad and just uh, just use my keyboard uh, when it won't connect. Bluetooth is... I don't like it as a technology. <laughs> Alright, uh, orthodox. Spoon type lure for bottom water fishing. The triple hook setup is effective for bringing in big catches. Apparently, I unlocked a new lure. That's cool. Alright, so I just need one more fish. I don't know what kind. I forget what it was, but different from the last two I caught. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that, that would be the main thing, John, is uh, a, a Dreamcast fishing controller compatible microphone. <laughs> I don't want that fish anyway. Go away. Go away, you stupid fish. I, I think I've only seen those two types of fish that I've already caught. So, I don't know if this last species of fish is rare. Harder to catch. Well, oh, he broke my line. I, well, that's fine. I don't even want you anyway. I don't care. See if I care. At least it doesn't make you, uh, 
make you reattach the hook to your rod. I think that would be too much of a simulation. <laughs> Ooh, is that one different? No, I think that's a... Yeah, I think that's a... That's an Iwana, I think. I don't want an Iwana. I don't want an Iwana. Yeah, I don't see any other types of fish. Where is this other one? Also, I don't think this game actually lets you leave until you've accomplished your goal. Because if I press start, it just pauses the game. I like how the FMV just keeps going, even if you pause it. That's cool. Oh, the B button, okay. Oh, it tells you the water temperature? I mean, I don't know how that helps me, but okay. Okay, I can change my tackle. I wonder if I should change to that other one that I unlocked. Maybe the game was hinting that uh, that I should use this lure to catch the last fish I need. I don't know. Still getting those same fish going after my lure, though. I mean, I don't see any other fish. Hey, what's up, Cyclone? Yes, it does work with the fishing controller. Just not using one at the moment. I don't know why I keep losing the fish now. I was having no problem losing fish before. This one looks different. Oh, come on! I think that might be the last one I need. It had like a red stripe on its belly. I don't think any of the other fish had that. I think that's the one I need. Come here. No, not you. Go away, little thing. Come on, come on, come on. No, no, don't swim away. I want you. Come on. Come on. Grab the lure. Grab the spoon. Where'd they go? They swam away. Oh, jeez. You again? I don't care. Go away. I probably shouldn't change spots. If, if I see the fish in a certain spot, I should probably keep casting there. I don't know how to keep the uh, fish on the rod. Or on the lure, I guess I should say. Why is this not going underwater? It's, it seems to attract the fish if you all of a sudden speed up and reel in faster. I was just going at consistent speed there for most of the time, and then I sped up and he... he lunged at it. Yeah, just like that. Man, I just keep breaking my line. I'm gonna run out of line. I told you this game was difficult. <laughs> for some reason, I just had a... I just had some really good luck at the beginning catching those first two fish. Just need one of these guys, I think. But these stupid things keep going after it. They're over here. Go away. Oh, jeez. Come on. I mean, he's probably just gonna break my line, even, even if it bites it anyway. All of these fish are breaking my line. I don't know. I don't even know. 
I, I think the, uh... The game just tries to hook you in with those first two fish. And then, yeah, you just, you're just not gonna get anything after that. Maybe I should check the manual. See if it has any, uh, any tips. Let's see. Introduction. While the term real fishing might sound like a clever play on words, real fishing wild is the closest thing you'll find to reality when it, without getting your waders wet. You've no doubt heard of flight simulators. This is a fishing simulator, and one of the best around. As in real life, the big fish in this game don't grow, grow large making dumb mistakes. They think like a fish, and the only fish you'll catch are small, inexperienced fry. Oh, think like a fish, and the only fish you'll catch are small, inexperienced fry. Uh, to earn new un new uh, tackle, uncover new fishing areas, and catch the biggest fish fish around, you'll need to think like prey. Real fishing wild is so realistic that as you learn new strategies, you'll find that you can apply some of them at your favorite fishing hole. There you go. Uh, that's not what I want though. I need I need some tips, some tips and tricks. Okay, it does say you need to monitor the water temperature. Fish are cold-blooded creatures with metabolisms that are linked to water temperature. If the water is too cold or too hot, some species may become dormant or won't eat. The color-coded climate information helps you tell fish are active. Red indicates the best conditions, white means the conditions are average, and blue means that the fish are not very active. So what does it say now? It's blue. So, they're not very active right now, apparently. If conditions remain less than appealing, consider waiting for temperatures to change by selecting quit fishing. So I just can't fish right now. I just, I just have to quit and wait. This game is hardcore simulation. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't fish because there are no fish around. This game isn't, isn't like Sega Bass Fishing where they're just going to give you boatloads of fish all the time. You gotta wait for the conditions to be perfect. Uh, it says conditions usually improve as you fish, but not always. Just like in real life. Uh, it's not really giving me any tips as far as... How to actually catch... Oh, here we go. Tips for catching fish. Even after you know how to check the climate conditions and change tackle, catching big fish in real fishing wild won't happen overnight. By following these tips, you will certainly speed up your progress. Look before you cast. Study the water's surface and you'll spot small disturbances, a dorsal fin here, sunlight reflecting off silver scales there. There are areas where fish are feeding. This is where you need to cast. Casting to aim your rod. Prior to casting, push the analog thumbstick, blah 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 blah. Longer you hold the A button, the further your lure will travel. To cast with a fishing controller, cast as you would normal fishing rod. Okay, yeah, yeah. Be the bait. Be the bait. Exactly. If your lure is in the vicinity of a fish, the view will change to an underwater perspective. Successful fishing isn't about thinking like a fish, it's about thinking like bait. Your lure must resemble food to attract fish, which is why the speed at which you retrieve, press the R trigger, uh, the lure often determines whether a fish will strike. Keep in mind uh, that if you're, if you're prey, you want to swim away. A steady or fast retrieve is usually all the convincing a hungry fish needs to strike. Set the hook. Okay, I think this is probably what I'm doing wrong. As in real angling, setting a hook is an intuitive timing skill attained with experience. To set a hook with a standard controller, press the A button as the fish strikes. Oh, okay. 
You can also move the analog thumbs thumb pad to one side to set the hook with the fishing controller tug upwards as the fish strikes. Okay, so I did not press the A button at all. Okay, let me let me try setting the hook. Although they're breaking my line, so at least that's what's happening most of the time, I believe. I need to be able to prevent that. I mean, the A button doesn't seem to do anything while I'm just reeling, but I guess when I have a fish. Come on. Okay, I pressed the A button. It didn't seem to do anything. So I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't go underwater sometimes. Maybe I just didn't cast far enough? No, why is it not going underwater? There we go. Come on, I just need to catch that one other fish. Well, I think I might have this one. I'm just keeping medium strength on the... on the reeling. Oh, man! I must have bought this line from a dollar store. It just keeps breaking. It's ridiculous. Ooh. Ooh, that thing looks different. Not that it's actually interested in being caught. Come on. Yeah, there we go. And he broke my line again. Oh, man. I guess you're definitely jumping over here. Come on. Come on, fishy fishy. I might change my lure, because those guys don't seem interested in this. Or maybe they are. They're coming towards it now. Come on. Ooh. Yes, come on, come on. Come on. Don't break the line. Don't break the line. Ooh, I got it. I think this is a different one. Oh, no, it's an Iwana. No, I don't wanna. Ah, uh, I thought that was a different one. Yeah, it's gotta be those red striped things. I think if you don't push the, the right trigger down all the way, that's when it doesn't go underwater. test that out. I'm just gonna do medium strength on the reeling. Oh, no, never mind. I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't go underwater for some reason. Can't figure it out. No, I'm gonna give this a few more casts. But, uh, I'm just about to give up on this game. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, if you like, uh, just constantly catching fish, you're definitely better off with Sega Bass Fishing. If you're in for, a uh, hardcore simulation, then this game might be for you. It's not even a game, it's a simulation. This is the fishing equivalent of Microsoft Flight Simulator. It says right in the manual. There's the fish I want. Ooh. Ooh, come on. Come on, stay on the line. No, come on. I mean, this may be a fishing simulation, but to be honest, I've caught fish a lot easier in real life than in this game. <laughs> Mm 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Please stay on the line. Please don't break my line. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! I think I got it. Rainbow Trout? Wait, was that... Was that one of the ones on my list? I don't think that was on my list. Alright, I'm gonna quit out of here. I don't think you actually have to catch them all in one session. I think you can quit and come back later. It's a very casual game. You can just go in, do what you want. There are no levels. I think you, there are just fishing spots, essentially. Oh, Rainbow Trout was the one. Okay, so I caught them all. Nice. But I didn't unlock anything new. I mean, I unlocked a new lure, but... Here's my catch list. Does it actually show pictures of the ones I caught? Yes, it does. Animated pictures. <laughs> yeah, and it even says what lure you caught them with, what, uh... What reel and what rod. Which is cool. The water temperature. Gives you a lot of details. I mean, if you're into... If you're big into fishing... This is uh, definitely a game for you. you can give a... Uh, look up all this information on the fish. Everything you could possibly want. What's the stock corner? Oh, this is just where you store all your stuff, I guess. Okay, well, anyway. This is this is real fishing wild. A definitely a huge uh, departure from uh, Sega Bass Fishing. Although Sega Bass Fishing 2 definitely went more the simulation route than the first game. Uh, definitely has some more uh, hardcore fishing elements in it. Uh, but not as much as this game. If you're... Uh, if you're big into fishing, this is definitely one to check out. If you're not big into fishing, you will hate this game. And will probably fall asleep while, while playing it. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're gonna move on to something else. Uh, I was thinking some uh, Gauntlet Legends. So let me... Switch over the games real quick here. I was playing off the disc for that one, so I'll just switch over to my hard drive modded Dreamcast and play Gauntlet Legends off of that. Putting the manual back in the case. Alright. Gauntlet Legends. Uh, I don't know what settings I need for this, so I'm just going to leave it. Hopefully I, hopefully I have the right settings in there. It's booting, so I guess that's a good sign. Yeah, I do not have a VMU, so... I mean, I do. Just don't have it in. <laughs> oh, that didn't work. Uh, okay, let me, uh... Let me double-check this. Just saying default settings, but uh, let me. I'm gonna try the new version of Dream Shell. Compatibility is quite a bit better. Also has a boot up sound now, which is cool.
There we go. I'm just gonna do default settings. Yes, I know. I know. You want that VMU. But you're not getting it, game. I'm sorry. Just notice they have an email at the top there. Email gauntlet at agames.com if you need some support. I think that might be the only Dreamcast game that has an email address in it. I could be wrong. I mean, I haven't really looked, but it's right, right up at the top left corner when you start the game on this one, so... Hey, what's up, James? Enter initials to build a character. I can do that. I'm so good at this game. Alright, whatever, that's fine. Select a character. Alright, should I play as the the mage, the archer, the dwarf, or the knight, or the sorceress, or the jester, the warrior? Man, they give you a lot of uh characters to choose from in this. Uh, Valkyrie. I do like wizards. I'm gonna go with the golden axe guy, though. Welcome, yellow the warrior. Look how it, how it shows, shows your name on you. It's my name tag. Alright, I think only the one door is open at the very beginning. What does this guy do? Obelisk hint, ruin hint, and okay, they give you hints. Interesting. It's history. Oh, just a bunch of just a bunch of story stuff. Yes, triple J, John, that's me. It's like, like the wrestler, triple H, except it's J's. I remember streaming this game a while, a while ago, very enjoyable. Yeah, I haven't played a whole lot of it. I played some of it when I first got it. So I'm probably gonna suck at this. <laughs> but... I played another game on the Sega CD that's very much like Gauntlet as well. Uh, I think it was called Dungeon Explorer. I wasn't a big fan of it, though. It was, it was very repetitive. It was the same sort of thing, though, where you... You have to kill the entrances that the enemies are coming out of. Ooh, extra speed. Nice. Was Gauntlet the first game to actually do that, where... You have enemies coming from a spawn point and you have to destroy the spawn point? before they'll, uh, stop coming at you. I don't know if, it, if Gauntlet was the first game to do that. Is there a name for that genre? <laughs> Spawn point action game? I may have other moves I can do as well. I do like the flaming axe. Is anything better than just a standard axe? It's a flaming axe. Unless you're trying to cut down wood in the forest, in which case it would probably set the forest on fire. Probably wouldn't be the greatest thing, but... Oh, did I heal? I didn't know I had healing powers. I did something when I pressed X. It's been a long time since I played this, so... Really don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's right, too. You need a key to open the chests. I use the key to open the, the gates. Unless there are different keys for chests than gates. I did open that one chest. There's a key. So I assume I can use that key. Yeah, okay, so it is... It's counting all the keys in just the one spot in the bottom left there, so I assume all keys are the same. Okay, I didn't mean to actually open that, but I got 100 meat. It's always good.
Okay, that's a switch to open the door. I got more meat. Oh, maybe that's what I did when I pressed X. That may actually eat the meat. Gold, to buy power -ups. gold for power-ups. Rapid, rapid fire, nice. Oh, I lost my flaming axe, so I guess the power-ups, you can only have one at a time. Avoid I'm guessing. <laughs> avoid, da avoid dangerous objects. I guess that includes flames spitting up from the ground. I will take that gold, thank you. Where is my health bar? Is that the top bottom left there? I mean, it's red, yellow, and green. I can't tell how to read that. <laughs> I don't know if I should eat some meat or not. This game is a little more action-packed than Real Fishing Wild. Just as much of, of a simulation, though. Ooh, I got a phoenix. Sweet. This game is very realistic. Alright, apparently I have made it to the end. 350 gold, 140 kills, 200 and... or 2013 experience. So I can buy keys. No, I don't want to buy a key. I'm going to save up for something good. Me and my phoenix are going to level two. Dagger Peak. Dagger Peak. Got my flaming axe back. That's awesome. Oh no, that's the uh, that's the phoenix shooting fireballs. Never mind. Ooh, leveled up to level three. Hope I don't lose the phoenix. Phoenix. I like him. And just as I say that, I lose the phoenix. <laughs> Man, why is everything temporary? Including my beloved pets. Ooh, what's that? I picked up a thing. Let me try pressing the other buttons just to see what things do. Okay, that does that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Well, that was a waste. Bananas. Oh. Watch out for falling rocks. I need to put a sign here. <laughs> Warning you of the falling rocks. Ow. Ooh, did I just... Man, I am big now. I am big boy. Hello, Mug. Welcome to the stream. This game's awesome on the 64. It's even awesomer on the Dreamcast. Alright, what is that guy? Okay, he's gone. I don't know if he was on my side. Is that a power-up? Ow. Okay, be very careful of the guys with the explosive barrels on their backs. Stop throwing bombs at me. This is not Bomberman. This is Gauntlet Legends. These guys apparently didn't get the memo on that. Ooh, sunglasses! Oh, x-ray glasses. Uh, what exactly do I use that for? I don't really know how I'm supposed to tell how much health I have. But my eyes are glowing now. 
Because of the x-ray glasses, apparently. I, I really don't know what that lets me do. Oh, it lets you see inside of treasure chests. So I guess you can better decide if you want to uh, use a key to open it or not. Let me use this. <laughs> nice. That is a big golem with spiky hands. Ow. Ow, this guy really hurts. I'm kind of stuck. Okay. It's all good. Okay, there's a key in that, so I can see inside barrels, too. I think I have a lot of keys. Oh, I only have two. Okay, I must have... I guess I've been using a lot of them. And there's the exit. I'll take that gold, thank you very much. Cool beans. They're 500 gold now. 137, unless that, is that 500 gold that I collected on this level or? Okay, that was, yeah, just on that level. So I have 850 total. Ooh, I can up my strength now. Magic, armor, speed, strength, growth. So it's basically just all the same stuff that I can find on the map. Reflect shot. Don't know what that does. Potion. J just a random potion? <laughs> it's not gonna actually tell me what kind of potion. Um. I don't know. I'll take some armor, I guess. Unless those are permanent upgrades? I don't know, maybe the ones that you find on the map are temporary, but the ones you buy are permanent? I don't know. Greetings, El Rock Arrow. Welcome. Long live Dreamcast indeed. Poison food. Oh, shoot. I guess I wasn't supposed to eat that. Okay, we'll take the gold. Where are these scorpions coming from? I destroyed the, uh, the entrance. Did it again. Look, I just like to get right up in their face. I don't run away from danger. Okay. See, that's what the x ray glasses are good for. I mean, they obviously allow you to see what's in a chest, so you don't have to waste your keys if it's something you don't want. But it also allows you, allows you to see when there's poison in them. Like that one there. Definitely do not want to waste a key on a chest of poison. These bomb throwers suck. Dropping frames hard for me. Hey, everything looks okay on my end, James. 
Yep, I don't think there's any problem on my end. Try refreshing the page. Hey, milk dust. Okay, that guy's bad, right? Okay, he kind of follows me around for some reason. Let's go across the lava waterfall. Or maybe I can't. Never mind then. Yeah, I guess this guy... I don't know if he's on my side or not. I can't tell. Ooh, unlimited invulnerability. I like that. Do I just kill everything I touch? It's like the star from Mario, then. <laughs> nice. Nice. Try and stop me now. I guess I can't get across there. I'm gonna go this way. Level six. that guy again. I mean, he, he does something. When I get close to him, he shoots a green beam at me or something. Maybe it's a green beam of healing, I don't know. Death usually doesn't heal people, though. Lots and lots of keys. And meat. Meat and keys. My favorite combination. Well, not going that way. I think that's where I started, down there. Is there a map? I don't think there's a map. I'm on my own. Where are these stupid scorpions coming from? Jeez. Scorpion King around here somewhere? Out, out of my way, Death. Has lost a level. I've, I've lost a level? How do I... Is the Grim Reaper taking away levels from me? <laughs> Why are you doing that to me, Grim? Go away. I don't like you anymore. Okay, I am a bit lost. Well, at least he's gone. Death leaves after draining a level. So apparently death doesn't kill you. He just levels you down. Got to be something to do with this. A switch or something I can throw this axe at? To lower a bridge? I have no idea. Where do I go? Pretty sure I've been everywhere. I guess the uh, the scorpions don't waste magic. <laughs> don't waste magic. Uh, look, I thought I was healing. Oh, 
Oh, I haven't been down here. Okay. This is what I was missing. Ah, okay. All right, well, I'm back up to level six. No thanks to stupid Grim Reaper. Wait, was that not here? Where was that? Ah. That wasn't over here. Switch or something to open that, I guess. And of course, it's dead end. Unless I can just break this down. Don't think that's gonna happen. Um. I remember getting lost slash stuck on this exact bit, too. <laughs> yeah, I, I recall last time I played this. I was getting lost. Game really needs a map. Okay, what the heck? I just crossed the stinking bridge. There's nothing here. Except for falling rocks and a door that won't open. Is that like a switch or something around here? Am I supposed to cast a spell? I don't know. I don't have any spells. Oh, I... I killed the guy on the other side of the door. I've hacked the game, guys. I mean, I can't imagine they're gonna make me go back across the bridge again for something. This is still a dead end, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> What the crap, man? Hey, what's up, Laz? Are you trying to revive Spirit of Speed's online mode? I, I think James is on that. He's, uh... He's devoting all his time to doing that right now while he's watching the stream, of course. How to open door. Need tutorial. <laughs> it's like nothing over here. It's just a dead end. This is a fire thing. A bunch of rocks falling. Can I deflect one of the rocks towards the door? There must be a hidden door somewhere, like the rock face. 
I'm hitting everything, Laws. It's not working. Game is very cryptic. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a thing. So you just have to go around and throw axes at everything. <laughs> That's what you need to do. Was there any indication that there was a... That that wall was breakable? I mean, I was just randomly throwing axes and I saw the... I saw what I thought looked like the, the wall flashing when I threw an axe at it. It's the only reason I, uh, I threw another one at it. <laughs> Great. Another bridge that's out. This game just keeps wanting to throw dead ends at me. Am I gonna find another hidden door somewhere? It's like as soon as you think you're making progress, the game's like, nope. Nope. How do I fix the sound? I don't know what's wrong with the sound. <laughs> it looked a little different. All right, Laws, what do I do now? <laughs> if you're such an expert. Man, I keep wasting magic. I, don't, I mean, I don't know what that did, but... Has the level. Hey, level 7. I had my Dreamcast modded with games, but the music is super slow motion. Uh, if you mean with... It was IDE modded with Dream Shell. Uh, I think that's a known issue with uh, the original VA0 Dreamcast. And, uh, and Dream Shell. So, if that's the case, there's no fix for it right now. Actually, I think, if I remember right, uh, I think it was Megavolt on the DC SWAT forums mentioned that you need to have the original GD-ROM drive attached or it will do that. Something like that. Okay, I don't know what to do here. I think it might be about time to switch to another game. What did I get hit by there? Ow. Go back farther? How, how far back do I need to go, Lost? I'm already back to that first hidden door. Throwing axes at everything. Oh, you can go down here. Okay. It is so hard to see some of these paths. Like, that's, that's barely visible. Alright, maybe I'll actually be able to finish this level after all. Thank <laughs> you. 
Limited invisibility. Limited invisibility. Extra Dreamcast had the disk drive taken out, but does have the hard drive. Yeah, that, that may be your issue then. But I don't know for certain. I'm no expert. Um... I need a switch to open that, apparently. This level is all about the dead ends. Down where the boulders are going. Oh! <laughs> I need signs. Path this way. I mean, especially when players are instinctively going to avoid where the boulders are going. <laughs> Ow. There's a wall. Destroy secret walls. Now that that announcer guy needs to chime in every once in a while and tell you what to do. <laughs> is this gauntlet? Yes, it is. Hey, finally made it to the exit. Alright, I'm just going in. Goodbye. Nice. Alright. I think I'm going to switch over to one more game before I end the stream here, so... Doesn't really matter what I buy here, because I'm exiting anyway, and I don't have a VMU. So it's not going to be saved. All of this progress is for nothing. Oh well. I think I have a save file for this game anyway, and I'm sure I'm farther than this. So that's perfectly fine. Alright. Gonna switch over to something here. Maybe I'll just pick something blind. I don't know why my, uh... My Dreamcast is all of a sudden detecting another SD card, or Dream Shell is. Because when you go into the boot options, it'll say SD and SD1. I've never seen that before. It just popped up recently, I don't know why. I, I did switch my uh, SD card, so I changed from a generic brand to a... Uh, a name brand, just for the heck of it. And then that's when it showed up, so I don't know. It doesn't affect anything, though, so I don't care. Anyway, let me just pick a game blind and see what we get. Uh, this letter right here, and this game. This game is dot dot. <laughs> uh, okay. Qbert. Uh, oh, actually, Qbert does not work very well on, uh, this version of Dream Shell. So let me, let me try something else. This one and this one. Looney Tunes Space Race, that's fine. We can do that. Although it's not going to have any music on Dream Shell, but it works fine otherwise. Yes, Merica. Merica. Why won't you let me select Merica? Oh, there we go. For some reason, it wasn't responding.
I already tried that milk toast. <laughs> you requested that game last year, remember? I guess you didn't watch the live stream that uh, I actually played it in, but it didn't work at all. I can't get the game to start. So yeah, that's pretty much out. Yeah, I spent like 15 minutes or so in a live stream trying to get the game to work. <laughs> Never worked. Let's go with Elmer Fudd. Where are you going to race, son? I don't know. Let's go to the Pyramids of Mars. You're, you're welcome, Milk Dust. Feel free to go back and find that live stream and, uh, and watch me struggle to get the game to work. It's very entertaining. <laughs> It's a very fun kart racer. Here we go. Out of my way, Wally. Wiley, rather. Not Wally. Yeah, it is definitely a good looking oh, game, boy. James. I like Wacky Races a little bit better. This game, I think, runs a bit better than Wacky Races, probably just because it doesn't have as much stuff going on. Wacky Races will slow down quite a bit when there's a lot of stuff going on on the screen. This game's pretty smooth for the most part. I believe it's 60 FPS. I think Wacky Races might be 60 as well, but with a lot of slowdown. This game has a lot of rubber banding. Yeah, it does. A lot of rubber banding. Ow. That was a piano. Don't see a Dreamcast game looking like this quite often. And there are a few cell shaded games on Dreamcast. Obviously, Jack Ryan Radio slash Jet Set Radio. Wacky Races is cell shaded as well. I think there might be others. I'm not thinking of. Yeah, that's true. Wacky Races has a widescreen mode. It's one of the few, uh, few games that has a native widescreen mode. Rayman 2 is another one. Now, what I say, what's going on now? I wish these guys would stop dropping things on me. Take that, bugs. Would have been cool to have like a a uh, car combat game in the Looney Tunes universe on Dreamcast. I think they did release one. Um, it was uh, on the Wii and maybe other generation, uh, other consoles of that generation as well. It was some sort of Looney Tunes combat game, I believe. Now that did not that wasn't much fun at all. 
Oh boy! You're a woozer. Ah, shoot. Gotta love it when you just boost yourself right off the track. Also, for, before I forget, uh, the new Dreamcastic Channel Club member of the month is Colin Gumbo. Is thank you for your support. When I think of Dreamcast, my mind jumps to games like Echo the Dolphin, Half Life, or PSO. I mean, you shouldn't think of PSO when you think of Dreamcast since it's technically never released. <laughs> Unofficially, anyway. I think they did release another Looney Tunes kart racer at some point, didn't they? Here we go. It's uh it's a great universe to make a kart racer. How do I keep getting bombs? I don't want bombs. I've no one in front of me to throw a bomb at. It's kind of pointless. Out of my way, bugs. Jeez, was that two elephants in a row? I think one hit bugs as well. No, I don't believe it. Ha ha ha! Boosted across the finish line at the last second. Yeah, a lot of rubber banding in this game. Oh boy, I'm the winner. Oh, boy. Pesky wabbits. You've earned an Acme bonus token. Ooh, bonus token. Where are you going to race, son? Let's go to the asteroid belt. Wait, it's been Looney Tunes this whole time and not Tunes? That is correct, Cyclone. It's tunes, as in music. Did you turn off the music? I, I didn't turn off the music. Uh, it just doesn't work when playing in Dream Shell. Megavolt actually made a modified version of the game that the music will play, but the sound effects don't play. And I believe it also causes the game to freeze, so it's a bit imperfect. Uh, the problem is, uh, Dream Shell needs a tiny bit of memory in order to emulate the music. And there's, there's no extra memory. There's no extra memory at all with Looney Tunes Space Race. It uses every bit of memory the Dreamcast has. I think it's fairly unusual. But the Dreamcast does not have the largest amount of RAM, so... I think that's one thing the Dreamcast definitely would have benefited from, is having more RAM. I think otherwise it can pretty much keep up with all of the other consoles of that generation. But the RAM limitation... I think stifled some of the developers. So you notice, you notice a lot of games have to break up levels into smaller sections for the Dreamcast because of the, uh, the lack of memory. Half-Life is a good example of that. Having uh, load screens mid-level, different sections. Oh, 
much where you're going, quitter. Here we go. Oh, Let me get the boy. weapons I want. There we go. That one will work. Anti Daffy missiles. You're a woozer. Also works on Yosemite Sam. the uh, the storm clouds any more in this game than I do in Ooga Booga. Here we go. I hear a bomb behind me. Bye, bugs. <laughs> you gotta love the weapons in this game. Classic Acme weapons. Oh boy, I'm the winner. <laughs> Man, I want to get my hands on Evil Twin, but the Dreamcast version is way too rare. Yeah. You've earned an Acme bonus token. I'd like to grab that game at some point as well, but. It's crazy expensive. I think about... Was that going for around 200 now? I think. I think that's about right. Maybe more. It's absolutely ridiculous. On your marks. I wish I could uh, place the bomb behind me instead of having to throw it ahead of me. No, 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 no. Thought I was going off the track there, but I hit an invisible wall. I knew I shouldn't have done that. Of course. No, no, no. You're doing it all I like how they just randomize the uh, the thing that falls on the, uh, the racers' heads. Sometimes it's a piano, sometimes it's an anvil, sometimes it's a safe. It's pretty cool. Barbecue my ham hocks. <laughs> Ouch. Always do that at the worst time. 
Have you got a full set for Dreamcast? Uh, I do own every Dreamcast game that was released in the U.S. Not the, not the U.S. version of every game, though. Some of them are the Japanese version. But yeah, every game that was released in the U.S. I do own. For the most part, they are the U.S. version. Uh, ex mostly with the exception of the Capcom games. Oh boy. Most of the Capcom fighting games. I do have some of them though, like uh, Power Stone 2 I have. I decided on Quiche in the end. What, what system is, is that for, Milk Toast? <laughs> Sounds like a fun game, though. It's the oven system. Ah, yes. The rare Sega oven. And the win streak continues. Hey, what's up, Janice? Alright, I think I'm out of tracks unless they unlock another one. I don't have a VMU in, so I don't know if that affects my ability to unlock new tracks. I think I can still unlock tracks. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool. I got the sequels. You've earned an Acme bonus token. Time to choose a world. Recently saw a video of you from like four years ago when you said you would never pay 190 for Cannon Spike. Yes, because I have the cheaper Japanese version. Which is Gun Spike. I like the name Gun Spike better than Cannon Spike anyway. Sounds cooler. It's actually not that much cheaper. I think because so many people want a copy of Cannon Spike, a lot of them are willing to settle for the Japanese version, which at this point, I don't think it's that much cheaper. Maybe 20, 30 bucks cheaper at this point. I don't know. I haven't looked in a while because I already own it, so. I think I paid about 90 for for gun spike which is still you know fairly expensive but a lot better than the US version also my copy of gun spike is like mint condition which is also cool Soul Reaver next. You, you gotta be a master level member to make uh, requests on the random streams, Milk Dust. Just the way I do it. Gotta give him perks. That's not to say that I will never play Soul Reaver on a live stream if it's not requested, though. I might at some point. I've tried to play through that game twice. First time I didn't make through make it very far. Second time, 
I made it fairly far into the game, but then I ended up getting stuck. I mean, I got stuck both times. That's, that's the reason I stopped playing it both times. It's because I got stuck and didn't know where to go. Very much like Gauntlet from earlier. But yeah, Soul Reaver has a lot of kind of big open areas that you can freely go around. And sometimes it's uh, pretty easy to get lost. It's a fun game otherwise, though. I didn't boost myself off the track this time. Foghorn Leghorn was always one of my favorite Looney Tunes characters. I'm glad they included him in the game even though he's not actually playable. I think he makes a good announcer. Man, I ruined my win streak. Well, I guess I'll have to settle for third. Yahoo! I'm the fastest blastinous critter west of the Pecos! All right. With that, I think I'm going to call the stream here. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. It's been fun. Played some fun Dreamcast games. Always like doing these streams. A little bit of variety instead of just playing one game. I mean, who wants to play one game? You know? <laughs> you just got to keep going. Keep going. Half hour max. Play as many games as you possibly can. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, I will be back on Friday for some Worms World Party, as usual, so look forward to that. But uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for joining, and until next time, keep on dreaming. <laughs>